Hi Pisces, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. Yes, my channel name has changed. I am still Taurus Star Tarot. Y'all can call me that if you want to, but um, the official name for the channel is Deep Thoughts with Dana because I'm experiencing um, massive growth and expansion and it was kind of a now or never kind of thing. So um, I changed the name to appeal to a wider variety of people, maybe people that just aren't interested in tarot card readings. And the channel will be the same, and I'll keep posting tarot card readings, and everything will be the same, but it just opens the door for me to post content that isn't necessarily tarot card readings with the name Taurus Star Tarot, right? So there you go. All right, Pisces, if you want a reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. So we open this reading with the wheel. You are about to have a turning point in your destiny. A brand new world is about to open up to you. You have been deemed worthy by the universe to start a brand new cycle in your life. Beautiful card. Beautiful card to open up a reading with. This turning point in your destiny, this life cycle that you're about to begin, is going to bring you the Ten of Pentacles. It's going to bring you not just enough, but more than enough to be satisfied and sufficient. Oops. The Three of Wands comes in and says that you have been that 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 you've been planning for this for a minute, right? You've been planning it for a minute. You've been preparing. You've been doing what you need to do to actually make this happen for yourself, right? I'm surprised the magician's not there because you have manifested this in your life. However, the moon card comes in right here. The moon card comes in and says, the moon card comes in and says that you have some fear and some anxiety about this. You have fear and anxiety about this new beginning and this new journey in your life that's going to bring you balance and stability but you're going to have to put something to an end to, to do this. You're going to have to end some kind of very important relationship in your life, right? And it causes a lot of conflict, a lot of conflict. Internal, external, it just causes a lot of conflict. And then the Nine of Wands comes in and talks about... Um, talks about being hesitant, right? Hesitant to, to do this because you're going to have to, to end. And, you know, end, I don't want to say end as in, you know, move, never see him again, end kind of thing. Or change jobs, never, ever, ever go back there again kind of thing, right? But it's just going to end your relationship as you know it, whether this is with a person, place, entity, thing, whatever. It's going to end your relationship as you know it. But you feel really hesitant to go forward because you don't want to end, you don't want to damage this relationship. The Eight of Pentacles comes in and says that you know what this is that you have to do because you see this wheel coming your way. If it's not already there, you see it. You know that this new chapter of your life that's about to begin for you is going to bring the gold. It's going to be golden, right? And you've been pre preparing for it. You've been waiting for it. You've been manifesting it into your life. And now it's, it's around the corner. It's on the horizon. It's right there. But you have fear and anxiety to take this new journey because you're going to have to end a relationship, a very important, not just any relationship, okay? A very, very important relationship in your life. A relationship that is um, surrounded in, in commitment. Lots and lots of conflict. Very hesitant. But you know that this opportunity is, is what you need in your life. You, you know it is. So you go into hangman, and you're thinking about all of this hard, right? You're thinking about who it is that you share your life on the daily with. You're thinking about life without these people. Princess of Swords says that you're formulating a decision process in your head, right? The Nine of Swords reiterates that 
intense anxiety and despair. I mean, it's it's killing you. Whatever it is, it's killing you. But the star card comes in and says, Pisces, remember, there is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal on the horizon for you. And the world card comes right after it and says there is a completion of your life cycle, Pisces. There's a completion, an accomplishment, and you must now travel on. You must now travel on into the new chapter of your life because the universe has so much more for you to experience. This throws you into hermit mode, right? Hermit. I mean, you're just going inside, doing some soul search and trying to figure out how you're going to handle this situation right here, right? I mean, it, it, it's, it's killing you. It really is. It's killing you. You come out of the hermit mode with strength, okay? You come out with some strength in regards to this creative new beginning that's on the horizon for you. <clears throat> the Prince of Wands says that you are going to have passionate conversation. Passionate conversation about these feelings right here, right? about these feelings, about these feelings, about these feelings, about it all. You're going to sit down and you're going to have conversation with somebody in your life that is very, very important to you with the lover's card. This is about love, harmony, relationships, alignments, choices. And it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be family, friends, work, neighbors, I mean, whatever your situation is, but it's a very important relationship in your life. And you're going to have a very heartfelt, passionate conversation about teamwork and collaboration, about, about, about what it is that you, you're going to share, what it is you're doing with these people, right? You're going to share how you feel deceptive or shady, right? Because you do, because you don't want to, you know, whatever this relationship is up here would be extremely painful to um, change, right? You're going to talk about the metaphorical knight in shining armor. You're going to talk about this journey that you're on and where you're going and what it is that you're after. You're going to share how you're heartbroken that you have to end, change, transition this relationship and you won't be able to be with the same people on the daily anymore and how it breaks your heart and it's painful separation for you, sorrow, heartbreak, grief. It hurts your heart to have to walk away from this relationship in order to pursue your own life. Five of Cups, right? Loss, regret, disappointment, despair. But it's a card about moving on towards an inspired, new, creative beginning in your life with potential. Out of this conversation comes a decision. A decision that makes you feel really good about the situation. Positivity, success, vitality, warmth, seeing things clearly. So out of this conversation right here with this person that is so important in your life, you have a sense of peace. Queen of Pentacles, you have a sense of peace about, you feel secure in the decision that you're making because of this conversation with this person. I don't know which one came first. We're going Two of Wands. Two of Wands is going to, is telling you that, that you are now going to be able 
to plan for your future and progress with this decision. And the King of Wands comes in and says, this conversation was successful and you have the green light to go forward into your new chapter in your new journey in your life. The outcome cards that I pulled. In regards to a very important love relationship in your life, something that you love, that you give and receive and exchange with on the daily. There is harmony and celebration because of a decision in regards to your success that makes you feel really, really good about the direction you're going and um, what you have to do to get there. Wow, Pisces, that was amazing. That was a really good reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you did. I did. So if you'd like one a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com, but you can still call me Taurus Star Tarot. Namaste, my friends.